Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ACL's 2K series. I'm in Maniac, joined by Mikester. And Mikester, it's semi-final time. We're down to only four teams, and two teams, in fact, in in the, you know this matchup. Curse AU taking on Impulse. Both teams featured in the ACL League, and I mean they're seeded at second and third respectively as well. So we're in for a great match. I am so psyched for this series. We've seen a lot of great matches on stream so far, and especially from Impulse. We saw them a little earlier on. It's good to see now our second seeded team in this competition, Curse AU. We're going to be seeing things kick off very, very fast. We're going to be jumping in straight into this map, in fact. It's going to be Domination on Strike Zone. These guys are just as pumped as us to get things started. So let's jump straight into the action. We're starting things off with Issei from Team Curse. He was trying to maintain, get control of the C flag there. However, he was dropped by Flares. Luke again, the kill in the background. We're over with damage now. He's on the A flag. He's going to be pushing up now. There's a lot of action over in B. As you will usually see on this map, gets the assist. There's a player running through the back. And tries to get some wild shots on. Tags are going out. He get, does get the kill. And look at that curse cleaning it up. Now they're just a little undecided. He's actually going to try and maintain, or sorry, get control of B for them. Luca getting the kill on Lakey in the background. And now Luca just does get dropped as well. I mean, keeping in mind that Luke is the substitute play here for, for curse. He, you know, he's not playing for his regular team. So he decided to fill in for them. He's off to a great start, picking off those kills, mopping them up, and allowing curse to have that two flag control. Now it is, of course, for those late to the party, domination, strike zone and is a I mean he picks off one he's looking for the second one he will be able to get that but will he get the 30 back shot off to stay alive get him those pre-shots and I mean his teammates are just there to mop up those kills as well that's being damaged he gets one he gets two and they're pushing on down aggressively over to the seaside yeah, in these very early days of Domination Strike Zone, it looks like Curse playing on point right now. They are leading the charge here with 23 to 17, the early score, as they are in control of A and B. Browning tries to say something against it, but Issei is going to be very quickly shut him down before having to switch guns out. He's going to be looking towards the back here as he knows the enemy will be spawning on C, and that's going to be a player from uh, from uh, Impulse rushing in, and that was Lakey being shut down. Luca in the background taking down Excite and Flares respectively. Getting a nice two-piece. We're over with Browning here. Taking down Luke. Needs a reload. Guys, watch himself. That was a bit of an aggressive push there, and he was punished for it. It definitely was, and I mean, is a, he's going to be on a seven streak right here. Dents on four, and still curse. Maintaining control of A. They're maintaining control of B. They've got a player pushed it up. Dents is stunned, yet he's still firing all the bullets he possibly can, and why they might be losing a, a flag for the moment. You had damage just clearing it up. Nade kill, gun kill, it doesn't matter because he secured that A flag by himself. He did indeed, and it was some great work there by Damage. Just touching on Issei very quickly, though. He, in the first two minutes, he was on a seven-point streak. He hasn't really moved in this last minute or so, and uh, as I say that, he's still going well. We're over with Luca at the moment, as he has been getting kills all over the place. Ten for five at the moment. Make that 11 for five, putting scores on the board. He was the first one to break double digits. He's sitting at 11 for five, but Curse, uh, sorry, Issei is backing it up as well. Going 10 for 1 with a 9 point streak. We're going to jump over to him quickly as he's pushing outside here. Now let's see what he's going to do. He's pushing in to see. There's no one really around to stop him either. He needs to watch his back though. Going to be jumping up on the monument. There's a player over to the left. We just switched over to damage as we saw Issei. He actually got that kill over on Lakey in the background before he was finally taken down by Brownie. He was on a 10 point streak there. Nice work. We're going to be jumping on with Brownie. He's gone 6 for 11 for this impulse squad. We're going to be pushing in the kitchen. Finds the player, shots out, but Issei's shot a little too strong for him. We're jumping over to Excite 2G from the Impulse squad before he was taken down. 68 to 41, your early score is A and B. Still in control of this uh, cursed squad, and uh, these guys from Impulse really need to make a move here. Yeah, I mean, you're on board with Lakey at the moment as they, his team is trying to score that A flag. Of course, holding A and C is definitely favorable if you can hold it, but you notice the players are already dropping and the flag hasn't even been captured yet. Now, they're still trying to maintain control. One player just trying to hold off two here over on C. Looks like he might get taken down there, and that was Ize and Luke who picked off kills there in that contest. You see Luke being the one over on the gangway. And one minute still remaining in this first half. You see them being able to pick off these kills, defending those flags, and Curse now just trying to break out and trying to capture this C flag. Now, it was, it was a nice 
nice play there by the team of Impulse to try and keep that you know that flag advantage that they were trying to hold. But uh, as I mentioned, they, they weren't able to keep it strong. And that's that's the, the crucial part about that A and C control that you can only watch three exit points because that's the only amount that there is. But if a player drops, then your your, your complete setup just gets broken. Couldn't have said it better myself, Mikester, and they did do really well to hold flag control, as you said. However, Cursed is able to come back very strong and now holding B and C. And we just saw Issa was trying to hold the push out from the Impulse Squad into B. Damage knows that there's a lot of action over B. He's going to be pushing in through Kitchen. There's going to be a player over trying to neutralize B. He knows he's there, gets the pre-fire out, and he does eventually clean it up. Damage taking down x -Sight, and he's looking towards the back, but there's going to be no one there. And there's currently a triple cap happening here in the final seconds of this first half. Curse breaking the triple digits in the first half, Mike. So this is a dominant performance. It really is, and I mean, to end up that game with the triple cap, I know that final flag was contested over on A, but it was still under Curse's control. So that's ending the half with the triple cap, 103 points total for them in just five minutes. That's scary to think that there's still another five minutes left, and they still can, can you know, potentially go over that 200-point mark by a margin, 103 points, 257. So, I mean, it, it is... It's 56 points the difference. It, it, it's really scary right now. It is scary. They're just going to town on this Impulse squad. But, you know, you can't rule these guys out. Impulse have played very, very strong. They are here in our semifinals of the ACL 2K competition today. And they're there for a reason. However, this is just the next league. These guys are in a league of their own, the team of Cursor. Let's see what's going to happen here. There is a player down. Neutralizing C. Damage knows it, but he's got some teammates to back him up. That was going to be Luka to take down Flares. However, Damage. Very quickly taken out by Excite. And there's shots all over the place at the moment. There's a scoreline currently sitting at 107 to 61. And we are seeing two flags, A and C, actually in control of Impulse here, Mike. Sir. That's a great start for them. And that's what they needed to come back in in this map. Of course, it's only map number one in a best of five series. But you never want to be down in terms of map score ever. Regardless of the first map or the fourth map, as you're going to be seeing, is a takedown Excite. Flares will take down one. But the kill feed just lining up here. And the, the C flag is being contested by Curse. So they're able to get that under the control but lake is just going to be strolling on in on over onto this b side he's about to be contested but he's going to start this capture and securement of the uh Fletcher wasn't able to keep it strong and is walks away with the double kill luke will take down briny and excite will be the last one alive here at the moment over on a curse just pushing down aggressively there as you did see the team of impulse pick off two kills but the fact remains that they need this double cap and possibly a neutralization slash triple cap to actually catch back up here it is three and a half minutes remaining on the clock and it's 124 to 77. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to switch this momentum as Issa a, it was able to take down Excite there and Flair's got a little bit of a twitch action going on trying to decide which way he's going to go. He decides to push towards the middle of the map here just outside of Kitchen. Gets the nade out towards A as he knows that was being neutralized. No tags out and he was just wall banged to hell as he was taken down there. We're over with Lakey now pushing into A. They are in control of A and C once again. So it's good to see they're in control of two flags. And look at this score with three minutes left, 131 to 86. Although it's not likely, it's still possible for them to come back. It definitely is, but you know, you called it right there. It's unlikely just due to the, the positioning that the Curse team find themselves. They're already on this A flag. They've got players covering through that side. Unfortunately, no one's covering up top, but no player is pushing down. The nade will take down Luke, though. So that'll be the A flag usual us at the moment. No the, no team is really getting more advantage over the other one. That being said, Impulse already there on A, mopping up that capture. They're able to get that double cap on in as you have the kill feed once again lighting on up. You're going to be seeing damage is trying to stay alive, but he will drop also. Luke's going to be over on this B side. Now is the tricky situation for Curse because now they're boxed in. You see all the exit points being locked down by the team of Impulse. Players trying to come out through toilets. You see two players trying to just force their way out. The player that's going to be trying, that, that was meant to be watching toilets, has now been forced to split his attention. Players are dropping, but the Curse team have gone over onto the C side. They need to watch Gangway. Nade's going to be going out. The player will drop anyway. Dens will drop him, and they should be able to regain control of that C flag. And there you go. Two flags under the control of Curse. I was watching the mini map through that whole monologue, Mike, sir, and it was just really Really interesting and entertaining to see. You, as you said, the team of Impulse did have that B flag locked down and waiting for all the spawns from Curse, but they weren't able to hold it, and the team of uh, of Curse were able to push out the left side of the map and then neutralize C 
forcing the team of Impulse to make a move. And as we're seeing here now, the scores did become a little more closer to even, but it's still at least a 30 point deficit there as Cursor in front 146 to 18. We're over with Excite at the moment, and his team of Impulse still are in control of A and C. And look at this, they did have B neutralized, so there was no points going on the board for Curse either. Now, Curse were able to come back and maintain control of B. Flares just being dropped there. Excite was the only one alive for Curse there for a little bit. And you're seeing there a teammate, a team member of Curse down over on A, and he's probably going to be making a move on that very, very soon. We're jumping over to Issei now, captain of Curse, and he knows that his team need to lock this down. However, they are in control of C and B with only a minute left. It looks like it might be shut down right here. This could be the case. Denz will get dropped as well. Now off the spawn damage is going to be going straight over onto the A side. Impulse just doing what they needed to catch back up. 50 seconds, 157 to 30. As you're going to be seeing the, uh, the, the players from Curse get that double kill and the caps in as well. You're going to be seeing the remaining squad of Curse just push on down. you got Izzy just waiting outside of Toilet's players about to contest him. He's just biding his time to pick off these kills. Unfortunately, he, just, he, he might have just been waiting too long as he did get taken down. 30 seconds remaining though. 165 to 134 and if my maths is correct I mean they, they just need to hold that one flag if anything to, to be able to just keep this control and you see damage is already on that seaside nearly taking down his teammate yeah they're there was a chance, about 30 seconds ago, there was a chance for uh, Impulse to come back with some magic. But as soon as Curse got that A and B locked down in the one go, it was all over. So we're going to be seeing here the scores pretty very much say in Curse's favour in these last final seconds. It's going to be 172 to 140. Curse taking the win there in our first map of the semi-finals here up against Impulse. But look, credit to Impulse, they played extremely well. And really, Mike, so it was a very close game. It really was. I mean, Impulse definitely showed up, showed their stuff at the end of that Domination Strike Zone, but unfortunately it just was too late for them to really make an impact. And you're going to be seeing uh, 36 kills for Luke at the end. I mean, filling in for a team, he's definitely uh, holding his own weight, if not more, but that's the Domination done. That's one map out of a best of five. We have S&D coming up next, and... I mean, Impulse, they, they, they need to come back in this one. They do indeed, and they've proven themselves throughout this series, but also in the past. Their SD game is relatively good as well, you know, and coming into this tournament in the third seed right behind Curse here, it's going to be a very, very entertaining map, to say the least. So don't forget, guys, we are in a best of five, so we're going to see at least two more maps here in this series. It is semi-final time. We're in the round of four. The winner of this series is going to go up against the winner of Plantronics Mind Freak, our first seed, and our first little known team coming into this tournament so we're going to be interesting to see what happens at the very pointy end of this competition so that was the first map going to curse up against impulse we're going to be going into map two very shortly don't you guys go anywhere